Let us pray, Father, today. We want to say thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you for sparing all of our lives that we can come together one more time. along with our friends and our families and our believers, those who are on the platform. Lord, we need a mighty move from you today. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. May your will be done in this house today. Father, if there are time, we place a trust in you, a faith in you, a confidence in you, for you are the God and besides you there is none other. Your people, O oh God, is waiting to hear what you have to say. Let them hear more of you than they hear of me. Speak to our hearts today. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we may move from one place to another in you as we follow your word. Your word is already blessed. Your word is already ordained. But I pray that you will bless the hearers and the doers of your word. These favors we ask in no other name but in the name of your son Jesus, the Christ. Amen. And amen. Thank God today for his mercies, for his grace, for his love. As we go day by day waiting for his coming, we continue to do what he requires us to do. It's so good to have all of you in the house and those on the platform. So I wanted to thank the Lord today for our dear sister Gertrude Adley in the house. <laughs> sister Adley is one of our prayer warriors. He, she and her former husband, who just gone ahead, just a little ahead of us, gone from labor to reward. But because God has still spared our lives, we have to continue to go on. Continue to move in faith. because faith moves God. We're going to continue to share on, for this month on faith, and which we were sharing from Matthew 10. But today we're going to go into another area of Matthew 17. Matthew 17. We were talking and sharing about the apostles, the 12 apostles, whom Jesus had ordained and to send out 
to carry out his word to preach the kingdom. And we will see in Matthew 10, which we were sharing for the past several Sundays, how they were instructed what to do, where to go, who to preach to, and who not to minister to. And we will see where the disciples were and after they went out, where their faith ended up. And I believe today that you and I will see from Matthew 17 the same process the disciples had to go through the same process you and I have to go through. There ain't no jump in the class. There ain't no favoritism in this. All got to come through the blood. All got to go through the process. Some go through a little faster than others. Some have to go through more trials than others, but we have to go through the process. And Matthew 17, we're going to start reading from verse 14, it says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so vax, and oftentimes he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. Ain't that something? And I brought him to thy disciples. Notice what this man said. This is amazing. He said, I brought him to the disciples. I didn't come directly to you, Lord. I did a protocol. I went to the, your disciples. Are you with me? And they could not cure him. Lord, help. And they could not cure him. Then Jesus said, then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and preserved generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. It's amazing. Many people would have gone straight to Jesus, past the disciples. But this man had the confidence that here is the disciples with this great man, Jesus. I can go to any one of them. Watch this. Look what Jesus, verse 18. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Ain't that something? Now watch this. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart. That means when they were alone by themselves, one on one with Christ, and said, Why could not we cast him out? Lord have mercy. They were with Jesus all the time ministering and they could not cast out the devil. So the man went from them 
to the headquarters and spoke with Christ the King. And on that, give Jesus a report. He just didn't come and just put the case before him and said, my son, look here, he, he falls in the fire, he begs, he, he falls in the water, but I decided to take, I decided to bring him to you to cure him. No, he said, I brought him, I, I brought him to your disciples. And they could not cure him. So that means, no doubt, the disciples tried. I don't believe that the disciples just sit there and say, mm -hmm, I'm sure about this one. I believe they tried. So, watch my belief. And verse 19 confirms that. He said, why could not we cast him out. So it's more than one. Why could not we cast him out? Verse 20, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. I will hang right there for a second. That is our greatest, maybe say, let me, let me, yeah. should I say ah, uh, or include everybody? Someone may say, talk for yourself. Okay, I'll talk for myself, since you won't be so insulting. And you reach, I want a demon walking in this church now, you come cast him out. I believe that's where we fall short. They saw what was happening to the young boy. They heard the report. No doubt they tried to cast. No, 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 no doubt they tried to cast him out. But in casting out. In performing the words of casting out, yet their words, our words, does not coincide with our belief. Lord, help me today. That's why you, we, you, you're using the team today. The measure of our faith. Not in that we can measure it, but their faith was so compressed. Their faith, what happened? Their faith was dominated by unbelief. God, if I can get my faith big as my unbelief, then I believe the Lord will be pleased. How is it that our unbelief is greater than our faith? He said, because of your unbelief. Look what he said. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, I was supposed to bring the mustard seed today, and man, like coming down the car, I don't remember. I said, still leave it, but that's all right. If you have faith as big as a grain of mustard seed, the mustard seed is the smallest seed there is. Lord, help me. And I always say, Lord, you mean to tell me my faith is not bigger, ain't smaller than this? Well, knows your faith small, but my faith big. Oh, yeah? Why you ain't speak to your mountain? Why your mountain is still there? But what I'm saying, Lord, help me. That my faith, though it is smaller than a mustard seed. 
that it will grow in time. Watch this. The disciples' faith was so small, but when Jesus gave them the word to send them out, when Jesus returned back to heaven, their faith was no longer small. Their faith was great. That's why they could have called Peter and Peter raised the dead. That's why he could have gone to the temple to pray. It says, silver and gold have I not, but such as I have give I unto thee. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Watch this. Process. Process. You shall say unto the mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be, and it shall move, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Ain't that something? If I have faith as big as a grain of mustard seed. If we have faith as big as a grain of mustard seed, we can speak to our situation. We can speak to the mountain. Yes. And it shall obey us according to the word. I'm going to encourage you and myself today that our faith in God will continue to expand, will continue to grow. Because what's happened here, watch this now. The word tells us that the mustard seed is one of the smallest seed there are. But when it is planted in a vineyard, it become the greatest and the biggest tree there ever was. Now, what that does, what that does, what's that telling me? Though it starts small, but in the process of time, are you with me? Reading, meditating, and believing God's word, that small seed will pop out of the ground and it will grow and it will grow and it will grow and it will grow and it will become the largest tree in the vineyard. Ain't that something? How can a small seed be the largest tree? What are you saying, knows? Our faith, though it may be small today, but it's going to come when our faith is going to continue to grow. Our faith will not stop growing until we leave the side of the vineyard. And where my aim and my object in the faith is to grow, to get to that size and where God wants me to be. And when we reach that point, that means there will be no doubt. There will be no fear. There will be no unbelief. There will be no struggles and wondering whether if God will do it or if God will not do it. Or we will be at a point where we'll say, I know my God not only here, but he will answer my prayer. That's the point we want to go. Unbelief. He said nothing would be impossible. But can, can you imagine my faith? Because it must say, we can say, we can say, we can say, we can talk to our situations. We can speak to it. And Jesus, watch this now. Jesus even used the mustard seed. And a reference in the kingdom of heaven right in the book of Matthew 13, 31 to 32. Let's go there for a second. It's amazing how he used it for a grain of 
mustard seed. One small little mustard seed. And then he used the same size seed, mustard seed, in a parable of the kingdom of heaven. That's what did he say? Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed. Ain't that something? A grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seed. Ain't that something? So when people will look at you and me and think we are the least in the kingdom of God, that's fine, that's okay. But in time come, they will see what God will do in our lives because of our faith. Watch this now. But when it is grown, it is the greatest among the herds. The small mustard seed. And becometh a tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. It's amazing. My faith and your faith in God will only be stagnated because of our unbelief. Our fears, our doubt. Are we going somewhere with this? When I doubt, that means I doubt the word of the very God what has been spoken. He said, if I have the faith, I can say to the mountain, and we have some mountain in our lives, and you know where we got to start? Start with us. But you know what happened? In, I found another place, another, song, another area. Our faith has been placed in the wrong area. Watch this now. When it comes to the word of an individual of faith that's that big, when it comes to a faith and a thing of faith that's that big, but when it comes to a faith in God, it shrinks. It's like all the hydraulic compress it. That's why Paul had to warn the Corinthian saints in 1 Corinthians 2 and 5, he said, that your faith shall not stand in the wisdom of man. We believe our boss more than we believe God. We'll have the confidence and faith in the politician more than we'll have the confidence and faith in Jesus' word. You'll have confidence and faith in your overseer, your pastor, your bishop, and whoever, then you'll have the confidence, confidence in God's word. Your faith has been misplaced. So what we need to do is concentrate and bring our faith in perspective in one area. Are you hearing me? Because God will not share his glory with no man. 
Are you hearing me? So all our confidence, all our faith, all our belief ought to be in one person, Jesus Christ. And if you believe Jesus, you believe the Father. If you believe the Father and you believe Jesus, you believe in the Holy Spirit. Because those three is one. Great God from Zion, help my Lord here. Watch this. Jesus said to the disciples, O ye of little faith, But you know what? He didn't cast them out. Because he knew when he's about to leave, these same men with little faith will have great faith. Why? Because now they're going through the process. They understand now how the kingdom of God principle works. It does not work according to you what you see and how you feel. It works according to the will of God and our faith in God. Are you with me here? Watch this. My master sees faith. It's growing. Watch this. We have the bag of mustard seed we brought from Jerusalem, must be from the early 80s or 90s. That's a mustard seed. And believe you me, on that picture, it's smaller than, way smaller than that. But when I place that same small faith in Jesus, watch how large, how big, how vast my faith can grow in Jesus. The way the seed, when the seed is planted, watch this now, your faith got to be planted in the right soil. Are you listening to me? In the right soil. So that when our faith is planted in the right soil, Lord have mercy. It does not matter. The thorns and the thistle may grow, but because our faith is in God, unshakable, unmovable, undoubtable faith in God, it will burst through any thorns or thistle, and the thorns and thistle will not bring it down. Do you have a tree there? You know something? Can you distinctly see the greatest and the biggest tree in the whole vineyard? Can you imagine? The measurement of faith in the vineyard of the Lord in that size. Man, we can speak. We will be able to speak to our situations. Watch this. Lord, help me. Now, I want to share with you Many of us will pray from this day, Lord, increase my faith. But be prepared to go through what you have to go through for your faith to be increased. Now, you know what you can say? But I might as well stay right where I am. We want something, but we don't want to give up nothing. 
When he was selling the disciples, so he said, when, when Pastor Norris began, he, he, sp he spoke, that was the first in the area. He said, deny yourself. That's the hardest thing for us to do. Deny, take up the cross and fall. Now look, your Lord, I want faith. I want to do your work. I want to do miracles in you. I want people to see the miracles, but take up your cross. And you talk about deny myself. Mm, that's tough. Watch this. And many may have faith, but the reason why they want the faith and God does not operate in their faith is simply because their faith, they want God, listen now, they want themselves to be seen rather than God get the glory. Then what happened? God allowed your faith to move and, and a miracle happened in the midst. Then you know what? They began to talk about Pastor Knowles. They began to talk about Prophet, 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 Prophet Robert. They began to talk about Deacon, Deacon Charles or, or, or Minister Early. Or they began to minister Knowles or Minister Cast Castello. No, 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 no. Began to talk about Jesus Christ. Look how God moved in the midst. And you know what? I believe God's going to move. All little mustard seed faith. He just said, as big as a mustard seed. If you only have faith as big as a mustard seed. That's what Jesus said. Listen, listen. Not even the Apostle Paul. That's what Jesus said. Because sometimes when Paul talks, Paul said, look here now, I didn't get the revelation for this. I talk out of commission. I talk, I talk from my, my experience. I'm going to share this with you, but let me tell you something. When Paul got a divine revelation, I said, I, I'm not saying this of myself, but God had revealed it or give it to me. But you hear what God, hear what Jesus said, the Son of God. He said, Linwood, if you only have faith as big as a grain of mustard seed, Who's willing to go through to get a mustard seed faith? Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. All those things that hinder us from reaching the level, the point where we ought to be. Listen, Jesus started in reference to the kingdom, must have seed, reference to our faith, must have seed. He said, just how, watch this now, the kingdom of God was preached in a small, started small. The ministry of Christ started small with the apostles. Now check it out today. It's the greatest. It's the biggest ministry there is in the world. Ain't that something? So just how his word will grow and his kingdom will grow. He want our faith to grow in the same process. Lord, I give you thanks. Faith as big as a mustard seed. Lord, have mercy. I can say to this mountain, be thou removed. May I suggest something here? May our prayer 
reference in faith. What do you mean, Oz? Father, I believe according to your word. Search my heart. If my faith is big as a grain of mustard seed, Lord, I will say to the situation that is going on or that is happening right now, be thou removed, be still, and hear what the master have to say through this earthen vessel. And God, I believe when I open my mouth, you will speak for me and it will come to pass. Not an area well. Because it doesn't happen right away. We believe it ain't going to happen. That's not faith. Jesus said to, his, to Peter, cast your net. Go out to the deep for a draw. Lord, Lord, we've we, we, we been fishing all night, man. We got nothing. Then something heavenly began to store his soul. He said, nevertheless, not at, nevertheless, at thy word, I will cast for the net. Ain't that something? Well, Jesus said, go. All right. I saw him turn water into wine. Mm -hmm. The master say, cast it on the right hand side. Go a little deeper. All right, Ned. What happened? According to the word, they caught so much in the net, they had to call for the neighbors to come in to have Bring them in. This, what am I saying? That's what will happen when you and I believe, when we carry the word out, we will have to call for our neighbors to help us to serve these people because it's too much for us. That's why Paul reiterated, we shared last week on that. He said, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Go out in the deep. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear the word of God. Are we hearing the word of God today? As we begin to hear the Lord speaking, Lord, I hear you. I hear you, Lord. Are you hearing him today? Is he speaking today? He said, if you have faith, in him as big as a grain of mustard seed we're going to say to the mountain be thou removed he said have faith in God for the Lord told Joshua And one and nine say, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, for your Lord God is with you wherever you go. If the Lord tell me he's with me, And I open my mouth, and my faith is big as the grain of mustard seed. That means it will happen. 
Who have mustard seed faith in the house today? Paul said to the Ephesians, I'm on close with this. He said, in him and through him. Faith in him, that's in Jesus. We may approach God with the freedom of confidence. God have mercy today. Lord, I thank you. I praise you right now for what you was about to do. Yes, Lord. You must have seen faith children. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We believe you right now. We have that confidence in you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not by might. Not by power, but my spirit. My spirit says the law. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You know for sure. Those who have the master seed faith, I need you to stand. Those who need the master seed of faith, Call on the Lord and say, Lord, grant me, Lord, that must see faith. Lord, I give you the glory. I give you the praise. I give you the honor. Yes, Lord. You told me in your word, if our faith our faith Heavenly Father search your hearts even now even now right now Lord everyone that is standing has is saying to you father I have a mustard seed faith now Lord with that mustard seed faith we're gonna to say to the mountain be thou removed. And according to your word, the mountain have to move. The mountain have to move. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. I need the master see his face. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. Let's hardly raise those hands. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I need the master see his face. In this house today, you hear what the word of God said? If you all, if we have faith as big as a grain of mustard seed, and we say to the mountain, without doubt, without doubt, without doubt, Without doubt, we can say, we can say, 
we can say to the mountain, be thou remove whatever situation, circumstances, whatever going through your body right now. The mustard seed faith is speaking in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Without a shadow of a doubt, we cast it out. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. Be thou removed. the word that's the word that's the word that's the word Peter and John I'm a Peter there any John in the house there any John in the house there any John in the house glory 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 there are any John in the house? Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give it unto thee. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. Do you believe? Do you believe? Every doubt and spirit, we cast out every Thomas in the house today. That's why when Peter did something, exactly what Jesus did, when they're about to do something great, you know what Peter did? Peter put them out. All the look on us, he put them out. When Jesus came, he put them out. And then he did the miracle because why? Because there were doubters in the house. Two sets of spirits. One said it can happen. The next one said it can't happen. The next one saying, let me see what will happen. But in the name of Jesus. Woman of God. I believe. With all confidence. Without a shadow of a doubt. You will walk. You will walk. It does not matter what anyone say it does not matter the report of the doctor it was the report of the Lord who should you believe in when they throw Peter in jail the angel came and opened up the door they go back in the house and preach and they told them didn't I tell you not to teach in his name didn't I tell you not to preach in his name? Peter stood up so bold. See his faith grow now. His faith is so large. It doesn't matter what the Sanhedrin say. It doesn't matter what the Pharisees say. It doesn't matter what the authorities say. He said, shall I be man rather than God? So who are you going to believe? 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 The same Peter. The same God. Peter and John serve as the same God we serve. But the difference is, it's where is our faith?
God did it before. God did it before. They can do it again. They can do it again. God did it before. They can do it again. God did it before. He can do it again. I say God did it before. He can do it again. God did it before. He can do it again. God did it before. He can do it again. I say God did it before. He can do it again. In the name of Jesus, we curse every situation. In the name of Jesus. 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 Strengthen those bones. Strengthen those bones. Strengthen those bones. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen those bones. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen those bones. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen those bones. Glory to God. Faith. Glory to God. As big as a master said, as great. Glory to God. As big as a master said, somebody stop looking and praise God. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Where is your faith? If you have faith, as big as the mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, you can say to the mountain, you can say to the mountain, be thou removed, and it shall happen. Glory, glory. That's my God. That's my God. He is a healer. He is a healer. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. You better start praising God. Praise God. Praise God. You let the devil know, great is he that is in you, that he that is in the world. God is greater. God is greater. Tell the devil he's a liar. This woman used to come out early in the morning and pray and pray and pray and pray. Now the enemy wants to flick her. The enemy is a liar. But we know in whom we serve. We know in whom we serve. We serve God. We believe God rather than man. This message is not to clown with. This message is not to take up people's emotions. This is to see and to show the power of God and what he say he will do. God, I give you praise. Lord, we give you a praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One may say, isn't this the sister Adley who used to come with her husband Saturday after Saturday repeatedly? 
in the open area over there. Now what happened? God is moving in mysterious ways to show forth His mercy, His grace, His love to His child. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you honor. Yes, yes. Sister Rose, you want to testify, right? Give Sister Rose a mic. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Let me tell you something. Come. You could come up here. I, I get introduced. Some of you may not know. She's going to testify. Thank you, Jesus. From the Lord had done something for her. Glory to God. Now is the time. She's going to release what God did for her. Go ahead, Sister Rose. And forward, going back and forward, taking my chemo. And my last, my last trip, the doctors told me when I finished my last chemo, they test, give me a test. I went and they test me, and I, they see where the cancer had come back. They said the cancer come back. And so they said, now I don't let only I don't want to put you any on any more chemo. We want to put you on the radiation. And so we had to come back to Nasco, back to Freeport, try to raise the money for the go back to take the radiation. And when we went back to pray the get ready to take the radiation. The doctor examined me again, and when he examined me, he said, look good. And when he examined, the last time he examined me, I was bleeding. He f examined me and said he feel that he said he can't come back. Well, that's when we had to come and get ourselves sort of to go back into that sort. And um, so when we went back into Nassau, I, the doctor, I had to see two doctors, the radiation doctor and the doctor, my regular doctor, which was standing to me. And um, they, the, I had to see, I saw the other doctor and he said, look good, but I still had to see the radiation doctor. And when I saw the radiation doctor, she double checked me and she take off all my clothes and give me a toro checked up. And she said, everything look good. No lumps, no bumps. Everything look good. So I say, do I still have to take the radiation? So she say, no, you don't have to. It's up to you. It's what you decide. So I get a little you know, the Satan, he come in there a little. I always was praying for my healing, asking God to give me, to heal me. And I was praying, and, and I know my church's family was praying, and I had a lot of prayers going up for me. And, um, and so she sat down and talked to me, and she said, well, do you, are you a Christian? I said, yes. Say, well, pray about it, fast about it. And then if it's anything, then you could let, you could come back and let us know. And, um, and from that day, I has not, 
had any any pain, no. I could have do everything for myself. My daughter didn't have to do anything for me. Even when she thought I was gonna be weak coming up those stairs. I she said, For me, I I come help trying to help you and you here walking. You know? I said, Well, that's it. I, I and I was five or uh, five um five um um I was going to take then I I said it be five hours. I used to have to sit and take the and take the chemo and take the chemo for five hours. Every time I go to take my chemo, I have to put to five hours. Everybody gets up and leave and leave me there still on the machine. So I give God thanks and praise this morning because it's a testimony that I have to know what the goodness of God. You know, it's not for what I have done, but for what he has done for me. And I thank each and every member in this church this morning, guys. I have the chance to say thank you. Thank you. To thank you. To thank my pastor. Thank my first lady. And they were very reach out to me. And I give God thanks. Thanks, God, for Sister Hill. She come back one morning, one morning, I wasn't expecting her. She come one morning and she said, um, I say, oh, I say, hi, Sister Hills, I come in. So she said, I, I um, had a dream about you. That you um, had on this white dress. And Lord, I have to come, I have to come. God gave me the word to give to you and I had to come. And she come and she gave me the dream and she told me what, all, what to do and everything. She will come back and she will pray with me. And that's the same time when I went back and I got a <laughs> bit of, um, then the doctor said, check me. I said, everything look good? And that is when everything I was, I, I give God thanks this morning for his goodness. So you all pray by joy in the Lord. Thank God for that testimony. How could you doubt God? The doubters, how could you doubt him? when he manifested himself right in front of us. And when she was going back, and she was raising the funds, and she, we give her the funds from the church and from the family and all the brothers and the sisters, my God, when she, when she, she called me, and she t gave me that news, all we had to do was just give God the praise. Yeah. You see, they couldn't find nothing. And they ain't gonna find nothing. Because the stripes of Jesus has already washed over it. Has already moved over it. Has already moved it out of the way. And we give God thanks for Sister Rosie Clark. Even up to this day, she's cancer free. Man, we ought to tell the Lord, thank you. Lord, I give you praise, I give you praise. Those of you on Zoom, you may be going through something. You, it's the same God we serve in this house. It's the same God right there with you right now. You may be feeling a warmth or whatever going through. That's the spirit of the Lord moving over your body right now. If you have faith as big as a grain of mustard seed, you can speak it. Or you have already speak it. Tell the Lord, thank you. 
Even if you feel it and you already spoke it, tell the Lord thank you because faith comes by hearing. Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you glory. Let's just wave those hands and say, Lord, we thank you. Those who are on Zoom, you right where you are, you can say, Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We saw you work in the physical. We saw you work in the spiritual. Lord, we hear testimonies, oh God. Father, how you move. You have moved the mountain because of our mustard seed faith. Lord, we want to thank you. We want to bless you today. We want to glorify your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you. Father, nothing is impossible with you. Our finances may be low, or we may not have any, but you are the God, of prov you are the providing God. For this we want to say thank you. And because, Lord, you, we know that you have provided for us, we will now, Father, make that declaration to you. To show in your word that it is you. We want to thank you. We want to bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen.